these days without the most talk about thing is gen ai i mean the fact is ai has been around for decades we have been using ai uh, gen ai kind of rekindled interest in ai you know for better or worse can you also talk about the work that is being done in this space as well well first of all i mean i think when people think of ai they you know they probably there's a sort of a minimal amount of understanding of really what ai means and of course um, if you're familiar, there's actually probably three types of, of AI today. The most common one um, is narrow intelligence, artificial intelligence, which is where uh, you're, where, where you talked about Gen AI. Then there's um, sorry, narrow intelligence, which is about machine learning. Then there's Gen um, AI, which is typically refers to more of the integration in human intelligence, whilst trying to make human behavior and their super intelligence. So. What, what a lot of people are focused on today is, is there a way that they can create what I would call a, a, a narrow intelligence, first of all, which is better insight, better recommendations, better classification, better categorization. And that's where machine learning plays a part. So when I've been talking a lot to our partners around the space that their customers are trying to get into, although the more sexy stuff, which is is the, the co, what Copilot does, what, what Google does on, and things like that on, on generic intelligence, which is the ability to create a document, the ability to, to give you recommendations through your browser, things like that. That's, that's slightly more advanced to what a lot of organizations are trying to do with basic machine learning, which give you an example, which is things like self-service knowledge portals, um, is to get into a space where you can, through a virtual assistant or through a query or something, you, that you get served up more relevancy, more, more um, content, that is built around an AI framework that's powered by machine learning underneath. The reason why we're focused in that area, because it's it's measurable, it's uh, something that people can implement and get immediate business benefit from, and actually it's utilizing mostly Java technology underneath. So for instance, Apache uh, and Apache Spark is a framework that's written in Java that actually provides that type of machine learning as, and we call it signals or um, recommendation engine platform that's used to make sure that the results that are delivered to you are more relevant based on the way it's learnt about all the data in your environment. So that's really a, a very discrete area that's sort of linked to that Gen AI space, um, but it's more narrow because it's machine learning based. And that's something more discrete that obviously is powered by Java that we can wrap our hands around. So we've got a number of partners interested in doing that, as well as you know the more sexy stuff that's to do with the, the general intelligence that you probably see more visibility of today. Um, I don't think we're going to get into the super intelligence space anytime soon, but um, but it, it's interesting to see how the market's evolving. And there's a, there's a very practical side of AI that, you know, well, I've seen a lot of my partners really trying to understand how they can get into it and, and support customer projects in this area.